Hey, beautiful. You look stunning. Look at you, looking at me, us looking at each other, falling in love with one another. You look beautiful. Thank you for being here. Today, obviously we're watching people remove their locks and it's gonna be such a big change. I love watching people untangle their hair. It's so satisfying and the results are always so good. Let's watch some videos. Up first, we have a video by Lauren Fleck. I didn't actually film a before video of my hair on my camera because at this point, I didn't think I was gonna actually take them all out. This is the length of my dreads. As you can see, they are very long. Only half of them were extensions. So the plan was by this point was to take a few dreads out of the front, create a fringe and cut the extensions off to change them to lighter extensions but obviously things changed. Holy f sh How the hell are you going to remove those? I can only imagine how long this is gonna take her. Ooh, baby. Oh, we said chop. We said we're going through the chop method and I agree with her. That was gonna take way too long to do it any other way. Isn't it actually unbelievable that it's even possible to remove locks? Just little by little, not by not. It's pretty incredible to me how you can do that. Whilst I was taking my dreads out, I noticed how short my hair was and it was literally freaking me out because my hair was so long prior to that. Oh my God, she all of a sudden has a chin link bob. How did that happen? This is the hair that has came out of seven dreadlocks. Some of this is also extension hair as well from like brushing out the ends of my hair. So altogether I had 52 dreads. At the moment I've got 45. Since taking my extensions out and the whole point I started this video was to take my extensions out, have just my natural hair, and then put my new extensions in, but a lighter color. These are all my old extensions. Look at all the hair in her hand. That's just the stuff that she cut. Now she has to remove all the rest of it. I think I came to a decision today that I'm gonna take them out. It's time. I literally hide behind my hair all the time. She didn't even go into this thinking she was gonna remove all of her, her locks. She was just going to put new extensions in. I don't really know how that works. But no, now she's going in for the full thing and removing all Oh, though. Okay. All right. All right. I'm ready for a change, even if it is going to take me about a month. I'm ready for a change for you too. And yeah, it's probably going to take a month. Oh. I've heard that wetting them is not the best idea because when you wet your hair, your hair goes a little bit elasticated so it can bend loads and then pull back. Exactly. I would not advise you to wet your hair to do this. Things would stretch out and it wouldn't be cute. And you've experienced a lot of breakage that way. So what you want to do is you want to get the dread. I would open it up, get your crochet needle. What I've done, got a little bit of coconut oil on the end of the needle and just put it in there and melt it in. So this crochet needle, if you can see, there's a hook end and a bit that's flat like so. Look at how tiny that needle is. This is the most meticulous thing you can possibly do in the realm of hair. Oh my gosh. I'll go into the center of the dread at the bottom and I'll just catch onto something and then feel the knot. If you feel the knot and you feel it's like really caught in there, don't pull it down because you will break the hair. You just want to gently feed a couple of them out and that's how you kind of just brush them out really slowly and gently and it helps protect the hair. So you're not actually fully ripping the hair. I just know if I tried to do this, I would go actually f mentally insane because I would feel like I'm doing nothing. You move like one knot at a time. Ugh. I'm gonna take a dread out and plait it so that it stays in its place. And then eventually once I'm done all over, I will take all the plaits out. We're going for it. And she is deciding to braid her hair after she removes the locks so nothing gets retangled. Um, because when your hair is in the state of kind of like this crimped frizzy moment going on, it can easily get tangled again. Back's always hard because when I'm picking out this bit, I have to sit like this. My elbow starts hurting because it's bent and my shoulder hurts and my other shoulder here hurts as well. And my body aches and I do wake up in the mornings with a headache because my neck is just strained like this. I've just got to that point now where I just want them out. Once you start taking one out, out, you'll understand that when you start seeing what comes out of the dread as well and how much lighter you feel on the top part of your head like i cannot wait to brush my hair and wash my hair that sounds so stressful i don't even think about the pain on the neck the feeling of like relief you get when you remove the locks this is probably just such an experience We're on like probably week two at this point. We're still working our way around the head, millimeter by millimeter releasing those knots. It is intense. So I've been doing this for nearly a month. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm gonna be doing the last four. And then there were four. Four left until we get the moment 
we've all been waiting for it, with all the hair down and the whole new look. I can feel the difference in having these four in my hair, how it feels at the root compared to like how this all feels up here. The difference between this and that. There's no wonder it was aching my head quite often. That doesn't sound worth it. Your head was aching often? I don't know, a high pony is one thing, but a constant pull on your hair with these locks, I don't know. feels so much lighter. But now I have to take out all these braids and I'm gonna brush my hair. All right, time to remove the braids and time to see a fresh new look. Bearing in mind my hair was down to here, like down here before. And now it's really, really, really short. <laughs> Do you guys remember where we came from and now where we're at? Like her hair was down to here and now it's like up to here and then she's gonna cut it shorter. Like this is a big change. I can only imagine the sense of like, oh my God, like what happened to it all? Like that's a shocking experience. Oh my God. I look like Medusa. <laughs> This looks so crazy right now. Like, I don't even know what this is. It's definitely a look. I don't think it's your look, but it's, it is a look. Oh yeah, we, we need a cut. There's like one strand at the end I, and she needs to do a little ch -ch 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 choppy. Oh my God, it's so satisfying watching that dead. Lifeless hair drop to the floor. I'm so happy she's cutting it. Are we ready? I'm so happy with my hair. My hair is in what feels like the best condition it's ever been in. This is proof that you can have dreads for two and a half years and have the healthiest hair afterwards. This is the final result. This is my hair. Oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so different. This is all just getting out the shower and crunching it. I used the curly girl method on my hair just to kind of see how um, it would go. And it's actually gone curlier than I would have even thought. Oh my God, her curls. I was not expecting the curls. Her hair looks fantastic. She looks healthy and vibrant and gorgeous. This is my extensions. So that already, I don't know how much that weighs, but that already is a little bit heavy. But this bag, it's full up to here, but this is actually heavy. I cannot believe how much came out of my hair. So you lose about hundred hairs a day on your head but obviously with dreadlocks you don't lose them because they stay in there. This is 52 dreads worth of hair and my apologies about the dry skin, but... <laughs> oh my God. All of those bits there, the fluff, dry skin, all the hair, all of this was in there. And that was all my dreads to my shoulders, all of that. Can you even believe that? It's literally like a animal's nest. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't that. That looks like a scary monster made of hair. Like I, that is spooky. So you know when they say dreads are a journey and when you let go of the dreads, it's kind of like releasing a lot of weight that's on your shoulders. And it's not just a figure of speech, it's genuinely. All of that holds a lot of energy. I'm classing that as all the stuff that I held on to all the shit that I went through, all the bad negative stuff. Bad Alicia. There's no idea for me to grow my hair really long like I did before. I just wanna keep it really healthy and I quite like the short. I'm just wanting to change. I just want a bit of freedom and I really like this. I think I'm gonna keep it up. So yeah. Oh my God. You could tell she just felt like relieved and felt like a new person and felt really good about herself once she removed them. And I am so happy for you, Lauren. That was major. Wow, I can't get over how much hair that was. Up next we have a video by Casually Christina. I had dreadlocks, knotty hair, whatever you want to call it or prefer to call it for five and a half years. Five and a half years. I have never kept anything that long, except for hopefully my dog will live that long. Okay, anyways. Five and a half years with the same hair, the same look, the same locks, and she is about to take them all out for the first time. I have a feeling it's gonna be a very emotional experience because that's a long time to have the same hair and not change it at all. And so like, this is gonna be a big change for her, a big difference, and hopefully she likes it. So this is what her locks looked like. She had this hair on top that was not locked up, and then she had all the locks at the bottom. It's so pretty, I love it. It's such a fun, different look. But I'm also excited to see what she looks like without any locks and you know like a fresh blowout a fresh hair color i think it'll be an interesting change
Ah, uh, okay. So first thing that happens is she says she found mold in the middle of her dreadlocks. That is scary. I actually don't know what the proper way of cleaning locks is, but somebody can inform us all below about that. That'd be great because I don't want anybody with mold in their locks because that is a safety hazard. And obviously it's not as easy to clean locks as it is with just regular hair. So, you know, it's understandable, but also, ah, uh, I don't like that for her. I don't like it at all. To me, I don't know if that looks like mold or it just looks like dust and dirt and debris. You've had your hair in sort of knots, if you will, uh, for lack of a better uh, term. You know, you're sleeping, you're doing all these activities day by day. You're not necessarily washing the locks a lot. And so obviously they're gonna accumulate debris. So I'm not surprised that's in her hair, but it doesn't look like mold to me. <sighs> like on one hand, these videos are so satisfying and the other side of things, it's like so difficult to watch because I'm like, I want to help. I want to jump through the screen. I want to unknot that hair with you. And it's like so stressful because it looks so difficult to undo that. And it's so tedious and it takes such a long time. At this point, I was losing so much hair while I was brushing out my locks. It was just breaking apart and just coming out in clumps. That makes so much sense though, because you lose many, many a strands of hair a day. When your hair is knotted into locks, you're not losing the hair, it's just staying there. So when you take locks out after five and a half years of hair growth, you're gonna have a huge ton of hair, a pile of it. And it's natural and it's completely normal. You know, you should expect that when you're taking your locks out. Very thin, ain't it? Yeah, but up here it feels thicker. It feels thinner down here, but that's normal. We just brush your yeah. kind of hair out. Yeah, and you're gonna cut this. They are making progress. She has enlisted the help of her friends and they are taking these metal combs and just millimeter by millimeter, we are going up the hair strand and releasing all of that hair. Oh my God. I would need like 45 people working on it at once because I have zero patience. I would not be able to sit there. I would not be able to do this. And that is why I'll probably never have locks. It's so much work. I'd also probably get canceled for having locks because you know. So here we are. Those are some real ass friends. Because if my friend called me up and said, remove my locks for me, I'd probably be like, how about I just pay somebody to do it? <laughs> or I'd be like, that's so nice for you to ask that. Actually, I'm totally busy the next six months. Does that make me a bad friend or does that make me a real bitch? Probably a bad friend, but that's okay. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Here's one that's half done. Wow. Look at all of that hair. Your hair's long, girl. Yeah. She has so much hair <laughs> and it looks so healthy. She probably hasn't cut it in five and a half years, so it's looking pretty good. And I love this like textured crimp that's going on from releasing the locks. It's very pretty and it's making her hair look so fluffy and full and I just can't wait to see all the rest of the hair released. Let it out of its cage. We got another girl. By the end of the day, she's gonna have 10 people around her and everybody's like going ham on her hair. I love it. I would do one lock. I would sit there and do one full one because I know at the end, when you spend an hour or two just releasing that hair and then you have one section that is completely unlocked, the feeling that would come over me, the sense of happiness and relief and just like, ah, oh, accomplishment. It would be everything I ever wanted. If your guys' friend had locks, would you help them take it out? Be honest, I wanna know. Am I the only one who like just wouldn't? I do a lot of other nice things for my friends, but not that. They're going on an hour like, 20 right now. <laughs> like they have been doing this for days. I can only imagine how painful this is. Like she's just getting her hair pulled from every different angle with four people doing it at the same time. I would be so uncomfortable and I would want to run away. I would also just shave my head. What is the craziest thing you've ever found in one? A tick. Oh, oh my, my god. <sighs> I just got shh. Ivers. She found a tick in somebody's locks. My fucking squeamish ass would not be able to handle that. Uh, 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 uh. They are no for me. The way they fucking latch onto the skin, mm, 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 mm. I would freak out. I would also immediately shave my hair off because I would not be able to handle that. <laughs> They're nearing completion. However, there's probably still another like 10 hours to go on this. And this poor girl, her head is killing her. She is like, this hurts like a motherfucker. 
get me out of this chair. I would not have the same attitude. I'm such a f princess bitch. I would take like some f good ass painkillers and just knock myself out, have people do it while I'm asleep. That is the trick. Don't do that. What do you think, guys? Feels like the best. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, her hair is so beautiful. She has some thick, gorgeous hair. Woo, we're getting there. So at this point, it was about six o'clock in the evening. My head was hurting. I was hungry and I needed a shower. And we decided to go back to the Airbnb. And me and Jody and Alex started working on the dreads again. Oh my god, she was up for 24 hours doing this. I would have passed away. <laughs> So I had my first hair wash. I still have a couple dreads that we're gonna get out tomorrow. They were really tough, so I wanted to just condition them. But I'm super happy to see my curls because before it looked like I had lost my curls. Kinda seeing them coming back. My hair is very, very thin. Still a lot of matty knots. Look at that, all oh, needs to be brushed out. Still more to go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, the matted ones, six. Seven, eight, nine. Why does it look like nine dreads left to brush out? <laughs> There's still nine more to go. Oh no. It's to your butt. It's literally always right here. It's time for the cut. And oh my God, her hair is literally down to her butt. Oh, I wonder if they're gonna go short. Like, what's the vibe gonna be? You have a lot of hair. <laughs> I guess I kind of do. Wow. Oh my gosh, I, I, I recognize myself though. Oh, see, that's what I was looking for for today. That hair is shining and that hair looks thick as hell and still so long. <laughs> what? Let me show y'all how much hair came out my head, y'all. Oh my goodness. It is like a small animal. Can you see this? Like you can't even see it with the lighting. Look at this. And it's thick. This ain't no little thin bundle, honey. This is a lot of hair. Do you see this? Look at this, you guys. That is how much hair came out of her head. That is insane. But it makes sense because her hair is so naturally thick and that hair just accumulated for five and a half years. But I bet her head is 10 times lighter than what she started with. That was a crazy transformation. And I can only imagine like the feeling of just relief when all of those are out and it feels so light and airy and you can run your hands through your hair. There's nothing better than running your hands through your hair. I'm sorry guys. The locks look great. I'm not discounting them. I mean, come on. We all love running our hands through our hair. It's just fun. Come on. Christina, that was major. And you guys actually did that in very little time compared to other people. You got lucky. Up next, we have a video by Abby Laura. I have had my locks for a little over five years and I'm going back to my loose natural hair. Five years, another five years. That is a long time. It's gonna be a transformation. I can't say this is how my hair looks just before I cut it because I've already started cutting it and pulling out. I just need to do an intro for this. I love her locks. I love the color of them. The only thing better than a lock is a colored lock in my eyes. Like this is fierce, this is good. A little sad to see them go, but I'm also excited to see the transformation happen. I've already pulled out some of the back. The thing is my aim was, I was supposed to be pulling it out day by day because it's a lot. And I have things every day that I was just too busy. So I allotted myself two days. She has like a hundred locks on her head. Oh, this is gonna be, oh, it says it took two weeks. Uh, I was gonna say this is gonna take like a month to do, but apparently two weeks. That's honestly record timing as well. Let's see. <laughs> this is the row that I'm on right now. Things I'm using to pull it out is this. So a rat tail comb. As you can see, I've been pulling out the stuff so the conditioner is all on my shirt. So she's soaking her locks in water and conditioner, which is kind of a different method than I've seen other people do. Usually people just go in there raw. They raw dog that shit 
and they just take out every single lock without any conditioner. I don't know which one is better. Adding water to your hair is going to make your hair more elastic, which is not good for when you're pulling on it. You're gonna see a lot more breakage that way. So for me, I feel like I would not wanna wet the hair before removing locks. It just seems dangerous and like you're gonna have a lot more breakage than you would have had if you removed on dry hair. It might be a little bit easier to remove the locks when they're in conditioner and wet, but it's gonna overall probably not be as good for your hair doing it that way. But any lock specialist, let me know down below. And here we go with this tedious, tedious process. <laughs> one by one, knot by knot, she is just taking that tail comb and going in there. God, it's a lot of work. Have I said that yet today? Like she's probably been doing this for hours already and she's only done one lock. Like, I can't. But I will say that the hair you released already looks nice and healthy. And I honestly thought you added some kind of extension into the locks to make them blonde. But no, that is your real hair. What are we gonna do with that color when it's all released? Because it's gonna be all weird and patchy. I'm curious, are we going back dark? Are we keeping the light parts? I don't know how that's gonna look. Honestly, it's not even that much done. I have some more, but I need to go on the road now, so I'm going to have to find a way to put this together so I can, you know, look presentable still. As y'all can see, shrinkage is real, but this is so cute. Her hair looks so, so healthy and beautiful and long. Like, I know that hair is going to be twice the length when it's straightened. Are we going to get a straight look today? I, I, I just want to see a whole transformation. We're on to day two or three or four or five. I don't even know anymore, but she is still going at it. This is the other lock I was put out. I think I cut it around the same uh, length. And this is how much, how much longer this is. So I finished pulling out another one. This is how it's looking with two strands that I just pulled out. I'm going to just condition all of it, put it in a shower cap and then just let it sit and then just take out from the back and go one by one by one. She's honestly making this look pretty easy. She just has like really perfect locks. Like I would think that they'd be tighter than this and harder to get out. It seems like they're being released very easily and I love it. Oh God. <sighs> it's so nice to feel this skin. Oh, I could only imagine that feeling. She probably hasn't been able to do that good of a job rubbing her scalp in five years. And oh, I could only imagine the chills that would run down my spine. Oh, I love getting my head rubbed and touched. Oh, it's my like love language. Even though I've been pulling this up for a while, it still hits me that I'm really doing this. Oh my God. Oh, we're cutting. Ooh. Bro, there's no going back in there. I mean, obviously there's no going back, but this is goodbye. Lived a long, a good life. All that growth! <laughs> no! Don't let it go! I want it! Hey friends, so today is day seven and this is how far I reached. Oh, her hair is thick, thick. Um, That part I literally just finished, so I was showing you guys the difference. And the parts at the back I had already finished pulling out those. Um, yeah, this is day seven. So in my head, I thought I was going to spend two days. So the fact that we was on day seven, I was just... Oh my god. Day seven? Yo, she's got dad in there helping her out. She's got mom. She's got everybody enlisted. I have two more left and I decided to pull up the last two on camera so you guys can see. Uh, my hair is wet and there is conditioner all over it because after they have to do a whole treatment, I just came on here to do the last two locks. Oh, I even like this look with just the two locks in the front of her hair like that. That is so cute. Wait, leave it like that. No? Just me? Uh, I love it. I just finished pulling out this one. This one took 30 minutes. It will, each lock probably takes like 30 to 40 minutes. Now let's get to the other side. The last one. We got this. I feel like I'm part of this video at this point. Okay, we are done with the last one. Now we're gonna have to go through hell to comb out and everything. But this is the final look of it being pulled out. I'll see you guys in the final clip where I just close up everything and actually style my hair. Hi guys, 
here we have it the final look after and doing a style washing and getting everything done you know i honestly i'm so excited this is something that was on my mind to do for a long time do i regret pulling it out definitely not i'm just ready for new things lots of definitely a growth journey for me and a certain uh a personal journey doing this really is just me growing changing evolving like as a person oh my god it looks spectacular oh my god you have gorgeous hair it is so thick i love both looks you look great congratulations and good for you for for having the patience to do that Woo. two weeks you can only imagine how many hours that was okay those were so fun to watch that was really cool and like just major transformations congrats to all of you you seemed like you were very happy with your decision to remove your locks and that was awesome if you want to check out my hair care brand or my hair color line you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com that is all for today guys thank you for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye